Bus 375 is a well-known supernatural incident that is said to have taken place in Beijing, China on the night of November 14, 1995. The legend revolves around a bus that was on its final route of the day, traveling from the Old Summer Palace bus terminus towards Xiangshan. The Old Summer Palace was once the official residence of the emperors of the Qing dynasty prior to its destruction by British soldiers during the Second Opium War in 1860. The crews on board were a driver and a female conductor. The bus made its first stop at the south gate of the Old Summer Palace, where four passengers boarded, an elderly woman, a young couple, and a young man. They took their seats at the front of the bus. The bus then continued on its route. As the bus passed by the North Palace Gate, passengers saw two shadows waving on the side of the road. Initially, the driver did not want to stop as it was not an official stop. But he eventually decided to do so, given that he was the last bus of the night and maybe he felt it was the responsible thing to do. Three people then boarded the bus. The middle man looked disheveled and his head was hanging low, so his face could not be seen. All three men were dressed in traditional robes from the Qing dynasty and had deathly pale faces. They walked quietly to the back of the bus. The other passengers on the bus became scared. But the female conductor tried to reassure them by saying that the three men were probably actors who had forgotten to change out of their costumes after a day of filming. This explanation calmed down everyone except for the elderly woman. The elderly woman kept turning around and staring at the three strangers who were seated at the back of the bus. After a few stops, the young couple got off the bus. At this point, the elderly woman suddenly accused the young man sitting in front of her of stealing her purse. The young man, who had not taken the purse, tried to reason with the woman. But she insisted they should get off at the next stop and go to the police station to settle the dispute. The young man, although frustrated and puzzled, complied. When the bus stopped, the elderly woman dragged the young man out. After they stepped off the bus, the elderly woman told the young man that she had just saved his life. She explained that the three men in traditional robes were actually ghosts and that she had been keeping an eye on them since they boarded the bus. She also mentioned that she had noticed they did not have any legs. The young man was shocked by what he heard and refused to believe it. The next day, bus 375 failed to report back to the station and went missing along with its driver and conductor. The elderly woman and young man reported the strange events to the police, but they were initially dismissive of their story. However, two days later, the police found the bus submerged in a reservoir about 100 kilometers from its original route. Inside the bus, the badly decomposed bodies of the driver, the conductor, and an unidentified man were discovered. To this day, the mystery surrounding bus 375 and what happened to it on the night of November 14, 1995, remains unsolved. Despite this, the story of bus 375 has become one of Beijing's most iconic urban legends. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.